So today, let us talk about how to talk about temperature in Klingon. So, um, can anybody give any uh, Klingon temperature words that they already know? So hot, cold, lukewarm, whatever. Kuj, beer. Beer. Tag would be frozen. Ah. Yeah, it's frozen. Mm -hmm. so beer, beer. Run. 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 Yeah, that's that's Pro like warm. Nim run vitev ku. I love warm milk. Right. Would uh, someone use uh, wolf for like a sunny day? Yeah, you could say wolf tach jewel, so that the sun is shining continuously. Um, yeah, you could say hur, so it's dark. What other, what other temperature words? How about weather words? Does anybody know any weather words? Shish. Shish. Yeah, that's a really good one. Shish. Um, oh, do you know any other temperature words that would be, I don't know, important living in Scandinavia? Temperature words? But, or, uh, or weather words, I mean to say. Uh, yeah, probably snowing, but I don't remember that one. Ped. 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 Maybe I didn't know this, actually. I know there's two words for weather. Weather yeah. in general, and then the specific uh, weather that's occurring right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got this word mood, which means... Um, weather and it's kind of like in general um and then we have mood dot so what does this word dot mean status yeah status so it's like yeah what the weather is right now it's the difference between had um, but I think of like a way weather versus climate well climate is actually different there's another word for climate and it's mood umber yeah umber so is like dot? I'm sorry? What is Mudot? Mudot is like the temperature Current as it is right now. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah, so like Nuk Och Nuk Och Mudot at. What's the weather like? Right? But then if we're talking about just like mood, Mood is one of these cool words where it means two things that are kind of similar, but um, have different words in English. Uh, so mood means both weather and atmosphere. Right. Um, so mood what is the weather forecast? Yeah, so mood dot is kind of like, um, you know, how the mood is right now. Because mood is always present, right? But mood dot is more specific as to what's happening right now. Uh, mood umber is even bigger than that. Mood umber is um, you know, the general, the climate, right? So mood umber, or as it is. Um, <clears throat> there's also this word that could be quite useful. Um, Scott, you said forecast. Um, this word ak means to uh, prognosticate, to, uh, to divine, to predict. predict, in short. Yeah, so ah. Is there a noun form? Nope, just a verb. Mm. So, ah. so weather prognosis would be just mood ak? Well, remember, um, ak is a, is, a, is a transitive verb. So, oh, it's a verb. It's not it, a noun. Uh, ak, mudot, uh, uh, mudot muchwit. Right. So the weatherman, mudot muchwit, uh, the weather, <laughs> the weather presenter, has predicted that it will rain, right? Or it would rain, or whatever. Yeah. Um, or um, akhlu. So it has been predicted that it will rain. You can't ask what is the weather forecast, but you can ask what will the weather be. 
right? Or what? So yeah. So mudo. Yingu, right? So identify the the weather status, or nuko mudo. Right. So these are two ways that you can ask about what's the weather going to be like. Mudo yingu, nuko mudo and then you can say shish at aklu. So whatever, insert insert um, verb here. One of the cool things about Klingon is that, you know, one of the great things overall is that um, there are lots of things that in English would be nouns, but in Klingon they're verbs. Um, shish at so, aklu would be it's gonna rain. What's what's that? Shish at aklu would be it's gonna rain. It's been predicted that it will rain. Yeah, it's it's rain is just shish, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if I wanted to say it's going to rain, that's how I'd say it. Shish et aklu. Again, that's, it's been predicted it will rain. But yeah. if, you're, if you're saying it's going to rain, then you would just say shish. Yeah. But if you okay. want to draw attention to the fact that it's going to, it's been predicted that it's going to rain. So you're talking about the forecast. Then you would say shish et aklu. Right. And for it's predicted to rain today, would the judge come at the beginning or the end or either? Um, so you're asking where where does the the dach judge come in this in this yeah. phrase? Does it always um, come at the front because it's a timestamp? So it de it depends. Um, so right here we have dach judge shish et aklu. Right, so it's been predicted that it will rain today. That is a different statement from shish achjaj et aklu. What's happening here is, so remember et is just a pronoun, right? And what et does is it sort of cuts the sentence in half, right? And it puts these, this parentheses, you know, puts brackets around whatever's just been said, and it makes it, you know, it absorbs it into itself, right? That's what's happening here. So when you say um, shish dach jaj et aklu, those brackets are going around shish. You're getting the start of a new phrase, so the timestamp comes before the object, right? And so would, uh, so would a, an adverbial. So um, let's say, um, I don't know, a uh, reitan. Um, yeah, um, it has been predicted today, it is, it will likely be predicted today that it will rain, right? Um, okay, so shish et apluk dach judge would be today it was predicted that it will rain. Right, exactly. So the rain part is not necessarily today. It could be today, but that's not what the sentence is saying. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, there are lots of things that are, you know, verbs in, in Klingon. So shish, we've already said, peg, um, rain, to rain, snow. peg, yeah, to snow, um, hek, to hail, yeah, um, Wolf jewel, uh, the sun shines. It's it's sunny out, right? Um, what are some other what are some other weather words? What what else happens? Oh, um, uh, uh, hood, right? Uh, thunder. Right? What are some other weather words? Um, is clog a weather word for cloudy, or does that just refer to blurriness in general? Yeah, it's kind of like my, you see my, my camera's a little bit blurry because of the sun, that, that's showed. So you wouldn't use it for a cloudy day? No, a no, day. Mm -mm, no. Um, for that, you'd say like, like um, if you ever listen to pet bill, that's another great weather word that means a light, a lightning. Um, the way that I say this is Julubot um, Engme. Or if it's partly cloudy, I say Lok Julubot Engme. Right? 
So the clouds are blocking the sun or the clouds are slightly blocking the sun, right? That would be partially cloudy, right? Um, to lightning. <laughs> Rao means to, to lightning is what it means. Um, and I always forget if there's, there's no kahwit, good. Um, yeah, uh, and be careful in this one because rao is a type of bird, um, but rao means to lightning. So again, this is something that in English would not be a verb, but it is in Klingon. So when you say it like it's lightning out, you say rao. And one of the things you'll notice is I've said rao, shish, ped, but there's no, there's no subject, right? That's because there's no specific subject, right? So shish, that's it. <laughs> Ped, that's it. Chet. What is what is hailing? It. <laughs> it is hailing, right? Uh, what is thundering? It's it's it is thundering. It's lightning. What's lightning? So on and so forth. So just say the verb. You know, mudo mudo Ah, shish. Okay. So you don't have to say the weather oh. is raining. Yeah. No. Some people do, and I think it comes off I don't know it's it's kind of robotic I think um I don't know uh but but yeah I think Mark O'Kran is on the record of saying like you just say shish so uh but some people don't yeah. like that they want to say something you know is doing that so they add mood or whatever and the same thing goes yeah. like tuj or beer or um or whatever um or hoon yeah. me you know I walk outside and it's tuj I say ah tuj you know Beer. Ooh. Can we say that it is foggy? Uh, yeah, so there's, um, so this is one of the few things where there's actually like a noun for it. So vitlash is oh. a noun that means um, fog or, or mist. Um, and some so of the- So how would we say it is foggy if we have a noun off. instead of a verb? You can't really see that, hold on. Vitlash kuplu. Oh, of course, yeah. There, there's fog. Ah, hot. Some fog of these... or missy. Sorry? Fog or missy. Yeah. Uh, yes, there we go. Sorry. Um, some of these have noun counterparts, um, and, they can, and that can be useful as well. Um, I want to forget these, so, uh, but whatever. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that can be useful for like, you know, if, if you need a noun phrase where you're talking about like the rain makes a beautiful noise, you know. Um, or I walk in the snow. Yeah, but there's other, I mean, there are other ways to say these sorts of things, but, um, you know, a noun sort of helps you in some circumstances. So the the noun for rain is chalbik. Rain. No. Chalbik. The word, yeah, so uh, sky water, right? Chal means sky, and bik means water, chal bik. The word for snow is chal chuch. Anybody recognize the word for the, the second word in that? So chal, sky, what's that second word? I would guess that it's ice. Yeah, so it's sky ice, which is snow. Uh, and I suppose it would also cover things like freezing rain or whatever. Um, although freezing rain might be chalbik tad, you know, uh, but uh, I'm trying to think of, yeah, anyway. How would you say that it's slippery, like it's, you know, there's ice everywhere? Would you just say there's ice or? Itch is a word that means to be slippery. Um, so in, in that instance, I would say maybe, um, maybe say what is slippery. So instead of just saying itch, so itch taume, right? The The roads are slippery or itch get wit tau home, right? Um, the sidewalk or the, <laughs> the walker minor path is, um, is slippery, right? So itch means to be slippery. Yeah, good question. Um, you know, pet bill, that also means, uh, that means uh, lightning, right? As a noun. Um, it's also the name of the news podcast that I do. In Klingon, um, I think of other 
nouns. Is there a thunder to go with the lightning? There's no noun for thunder. There's just the pood, right? The verb. Um, you are, want to say like the sound of found thunder? No, it cannot because okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, in instances like that, you just, I mean. You would just say like, it thundered, I heard it. I mean, really, uh, so let's say you want to say, I like the sound of thunder. A good way to say that would be, to dit, right? What is, we went over those syntactic markers last week. What does dit mean? While. Is when. Yeah, when, as soon as, right? Yeah, while would dit. be talk vish, right? Right. Um, which that's that's that could also be a valid way to say this. Um, so wab, wab, so noise, vitiv, tiv is to enjoy. So when it thunders, I enjoy the noise. Or you know, uh, to tachvish while it's thundering, wab vitiv. Right. What about to get jikut? Yeah, quite bad. Poop. So, um, let's see. We've gone over them. So, shish, ped, chek, rau, wood, wool, wool, jewel boat, jewel boat, eng mei. Um, yeah, okay. So, I want to ask y'all. I'm going to ask y'all, each of you, um, what the weather is like where you live. And you'll respond to me, oh, shish, wolf jewel, ped. I hope it's not ped. Chet, <laughs> rau, tud, right? Jewel lubot engme, lok, jewel lubot engme. Okay? Tuj, dir, run. So tell me about what is happening, where you live, what the mudot is like. And I'm going to ask you using, I'm going to cover up shish. I think we can all remember shish or I'll just, there we go. I'm going to ask you using one of these, um, one of these question phrases down here and just respond to me the best you can. Okay. Um, all right. So Caitlin, mudot jing yu. Wolf jewel as tooch. Ah, much, much, much. Kheb o. Nuk och mudot lej a. Um, dach jaj shish ku ej. Va? Shish ku. Ej hun. Much, much shish ku. Ej yotar. Mudot lej ingu. Uh. Dach judge shish ha wolf jewel. Much, much ka, much ka. Edge dach judge wolf ku tach jewel, edge tuj ku. Georgia toch, Georgia dach tuj tach, kara. Mmm. Tuj vitiv ku. Much. Cool. So now, now that we've talked about that, let's get into how to talk about the temperature. And before I do that, I just want to see if Chiago is trying to get in. Is he? Oh, yes, he is. Hello, Chiago. Yeah. Hey, Chiago. Hey there. We were just talking about the weather, and we we're going to talk about um, temperatures now. So the Klingon hey. word for temperature is hot. Everybody say that. Hot. 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 Yeah. And um, when it's, be careful, because when it's a verb, Hot means um, the eagle. 
So be careful about that. So there are two words that are really important when um, talking about weather going on. So I'm going to go over the, this one first. This one down here, this is a noun. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's translated as a degree, um, but it is a unit of measure for temperature that's very specific to Klingon. So it's not really translatable. It's just a, it's a means of, um, of, of, of measuring temperature. Um, and then there is uh, this little handy verb, which is um, have a temperature of X shimyon, right? Um, so this is, <laughs> these are very long. So go ahead and take a moment to write that down. Um, yeah. So these were released, these were revealed to us. Um, actually, we got rech before we got, um, we got rech before we got shimyon. Um, and we knew that there were shimyons, but we didn't know, we, we knew there was some sort of way the Klingons had of me measuring temperature, and it was probably, I'm going to be different from Celsius, um, Fahrenheit. <laughs> um, and we, we just had, we knew that there was this word rech that mean, that meant to have a temperature of, having no idea. And then last summer, we got this word shimyon. And um, it was pretty great. Um, at the Kaip A, we got, you know, at the Kepa, there's this packet um, that has all the new words in it. And at the back, there was um, uh, an explanation about the Shimyon system. So the Shimyon system is the Klingon's own um, system of measurement. Um, so it's a little bit funky, so stay with me. Um, so zero, zero Shimyon is, um, is the freezing point of nitrogen. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> uh, so let's see. Yeah, there we go. I just want to make sure. So 200, this is 200, negative 210 Celsius. So this freezing point of nitrogen. Um, the freezing point of water is 183, it's 183, 182 point something, but in, in book wit, it's written 183. So I'll go with that. Um, that's zero degrees Celsius. Right, um, 32 Fahrenheit. Does Caitlin, do you want me to, and, and Scott, do you want me to do Fahrenheit or are you good? I'm no, a scientist, I'm, okay with I'm good with it. Cool. <laughs> Actually, I grew up calling it centigrade. That's when I learned it. Yeah. Um, so uh, 200 uh, Shimyon, that's like 19C. So that's a pretty nice day. Um, Today where I am, it's about 200, I'd say it's like 208 shimyon. I'm not sure exactly how much that is in centigrade. Um, I've actually gotten to the point where I use it often enough where, um, you know, I'm kind of this way to um, like in my head with Fahrenheit and Celsius, like I use, I can like kind of guesstimate where I am, but um, I can't really, I don't really, know how to <laughs> um, translate in my head. Uh, you don't know the formula? I know the formula. Centigrade to Fahrenheit is nine fifths of Fahrenheit plus 32 degrees. Yeah, I, I know the formula. I just don't, uh, I just don't do it very quickly in my head. So I just, you basically uh, double it and then add 20 or so degrees depending on how big the number is. Gotcha. Um, and 270 is 100 C. There you go. What's a Klingon body temperature? Um, it says here uh, that it's the same as humans, about the same. And then 1,000, uh, 1,000 Shimyon is about 937 C, and it is the temperature of molten lava, because of course it is. <laughs> 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 so this is the Shimyon system. Um, on Deshbu's uh, Atlanta right now. <laughs> right. 
So that's the Shimion system. And um, so how the heck do we use this? OK, so we have the word rech. And if y'all need that for reference, just look up Shimion in Bokhwit. And it's got the whole chart written out right there. Um, so we have this word rech. Um, and what you do is you just say, you know, um, what is the freezing temperature of water? Oh, that's a really good question. It is um, uh, when when water freezes, uh, or uh, yeah, when water freezes, um, it's 183 chimion. So, yeah. So, when it has a temperature of 183 chimions, or more precisely here, when it has a temperature of 183, uh, water freezes, right? So you don't need to use the word shimyon because there's only one temperature scale and everybody knows it. But you can use shimyon. You can use shimyon because you might actually, um, some people, um, since we have gotten these words, instead of using shimyon, they'll just go ahead and use Fahrenheit or Celsius, depending on where, you know, where they are. Um, so you, sometimes you might hear somebody say, Right, and if it's a freezing day in winter, or um, uh, uh, if it's a boiling hot day in summer, again, depending on where the person is from, that's the, the scale that they're going to be using. Do um, we have Klingon equivalents for Fahrenheit and Celsius? Nope, you just have to say Fahrenheit. Okay. So it's, be it's best to say when you're, when you're doing this and you're, you're not you're not using shimyon, it's always best to say, which mach cha Fahrenheit rech, right? Which mach Celsius rech or centigrade or whatever. Klingons wouldn't pronounce some Fahrenheit and Shalshush or something? They might. But, uh, you know, you, 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 can, you, can, you can pronounce them with a more Klingon accent, um, but you can also just, uh, you know, say it with an, an English accent, and that's fine. Um, if you're feeling in a more Klingon mood, then you might do that. Um, so what I want everybody to do is go ahead and look up. Um, you're going to go to Chol Ampash. So Chol is H-O-L dot K-A-G dot org. One more time. You're going to, here, let me just go ahead and pull it up on my screen. Kaitlyn has sent. Yeah, thanks, Kaylee. Kaitlyn. Excuse me, just one second. There we go. Okay. So uh, you're going to go here. So hol.kag.org. Is everybody there? Yes. Cool. Yep. So you're going to look up at this bar and scooch on over to tools. Click, and Whoops. there's a drop down menu. Okay. I don't have that on my phone. Okay. Yeah, it is. It's like. Uh... In the right upper corner, uh, cor the corner. Yeah, it's that toolbar in the it's upper. Like the toolbar. Oh, okay. So it's, it's a right. drop down menu. menu. Okay. Yeah. And then and you're gonna see Shimyon converter. Okay. Now, what I want everybody to do is to um, look up, you know, using your phone or your computer, or whatever, see what temperature it is, where you are, and you can plug it into the converter. And it will show you how what the temperature is in shimyons. And you can do this whenever you are by yourself and you um, are like, well, what's the, I wonder what the temperature is, 91 degrees um, Fahrenheit. Oh, it's 211 shimyons. Right? So, um, and I'm going to. There we go. I'm going to ask y'all. Um, I'm going to ask y'all, uh, I'm going to ask y'all depending on where, 
I'm gonna say Doklish Dok Shimyon R Lech. Right? So that means anybody does anybody want to translate that for me? Doklish Dok Shimyon R Lech. How many degrees do you have in your location? Your location. Yeah, yeah. How many, how, what's the temperature where you are, right? Um, so, and you're going to respond to me with the number. Lech. And you can even say the number plus Shimyon. Lech. So take a second to, to do the conversion. And then when everybody's ready, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. How do I give you a thumbs up? Like this? <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could see us all. <laughs> yep. I thought it was like a thing you press in Zoom to make a thumbs up. No, no, no. I mean, I think that exists, but uh, I don't know how to do it. All right, so Chiago. No, I can raise my hand. Yeah, yeah, I never figured out how to do that. Uh, Chiago, Dachlidge Dach, Shimyon Ar. Deutschland Fuck, Deutschland Dach. Uh, what cha, uh, what vac jav rech? What vac jav rech? Tech a? Yeah. Mirku. Sorry. Cha vac. Cha vac jav. Oh, ooh, tuj. Mm. Yeah. The head. Ooh, head. You go head. Head. Oh, Jehid. Woo, Jehid. Maj. Heb O. Daklidge Dak Shimion R. Rech. Karsta, Kars, Fuvaria Dak, Karsta Dak. Um, what back? Hot, what back? What back? Hot mach. Shot Shimion Rech. Maj. Look, beer. Look, beer. Beer cup, bet. That's cool. Yeah. And she's cool. And she's cool, right? Rune. What? Ciao, bet. We tip cup, Jeff. Yotar. Dockledge dock, Shimion R. Rech. Dockledge dock. What was? Hut mach, hut rech. Jerung. Berung? Jerung. Um, I suffer from heat intolerance and I'm in a glass box. Yes. But what I'm hearing is Jerung. What did I? Oh, I'm hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. Rune uh, is what I was. Ah, much. Is it Rune? Rune. Yeah, Rune. Jerun. Much. Berun Kutmo Jekosh. Um, uh, to say you're heat intolerant, consider tuj, which can also be a, a noun. Herg lach bet por which. Herg. Tuj which herg. Which herg lach. So. Tuj cher lach bet por which. So my body can't tolerate heat. Or. I cannot tolerate tolerate heat to a to a considerable level. So tuj vicher lach kubat. What does mean cher? Cher means to tolerate. Caitlin, daklij dak shimion ar rech. Daklij dak chavak shimion re. Ooh. Um and just remember when when you responded you said Doklid Dak Wij Dak Chatmach Chat Chatvash Shimonach Bat Dak Wij Dak Chatvash Watmach Wat Shimonach Mat Mat Edge Georgia Dak Chatvat Watmach Wat Shimon Rech Doon, doon ku. Dach mood bo rich lach. Maj kha. Ej na dev. Wolf ku jewel. Ah, ej eng me push lutu lu. 
Shud Chow. Does anybody have any questions? Tourel Bonerbe. Robert? Par? The sky is blue. Yeah. The, this, the sky is blue. Be, be, be lourd, be well, let's take that as a transition <laughs> into talking about colors in Klingon. Um, um, ink. Die. Ink. um so colors in Klingon. Uh, Ne'er fear. There are lots of things in Klingon that are super overcomplicated. Um, like, for instance, the words for the digits. Um, and we're, we'll get to those. Um, but uh, in Klingon, there are really only like four color words. <laughs> um, so we have dope, we have shud, we have pij, and we have chish. And, and colorful, ch ch uh, how is it, chun, right? Yeah, so there's another word. Um, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, there is another word. Um, should be, does anybody know what, um, so these are all state of verbs, right? So I'm not gonna write the to be, but just know that they're state of verbs. So they're intransitive and they, be, they can be used as adjectives. Um, so does anybody know what dope means? Red, red or orange. orange. Yeah, red, orange. Shud. Green, yellow. blue, yellow. Green, yellow. Right. Pidge. Black. Black. Yeah, that's an easy one. Chish. White. 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 And that's it. So dok is kind of easy because it's kind of the same color field. Shud is kind of hard because you know, what am I saying? I think the sky is blue, green, or yellow. It could be any one of them. But based on context, um, one can surmise that I'm saying it's shud, it's blue, right? Um, Pidge, that's pretty easy, and chish. But these are really the only color words that we have in Klingon. Um, and surprisingly, like um, Klingon's, you know, it's a constructed language, but it's not the only language that does this. Um, I believe Wolof has a uh, very limited um, color uh, vocabulary as well. Uh, and the way that you can sort of expand this um, and sort of, you know, talk about more specific colors is through the use of rur, right? You know, uh, I was going to say that you left out a color from my Duolingo lessons. I know that another color is cradge lips. Yes, yes. Uh, we'll get into this, but, but, the, but that's linked to this rur verb. Yep, that's um, why I brought it up now. <laughs> which is, um, uh, can anybody tell me what rur is? Resemble. Yeah, we talked about it before. Um, look like, be like, whatever, you know, et, et cetera. Um, so there are a couple of, you know, color words where, um, there we go, um, where you can say um, dok. Ah, but what are we talking about? Are we talking about, um, are we talking about red? Are we talking about orange? Are we talking about, uh, brown. Um, so as Scott brought up, um, you can say dok kraj wush rur. Right? So kraj is a type of Klingon animal. It's a kraj. I don't know how they transcribe it, but kraj, whatever. Wush, what's that? Uh, lip. Wush, yeah. yeah. It's one of my favorite words because it sort of brings your mouth into the like it uses what it's <laughs> yeah it you you pucker your lips when you say it whoosh right uh, so kraj whoosh rur right it's like uh kraj lips and this means brown this kraj lips it's like what it's it's like kraj lips so kraj it's the color the, the type color of, of uh, kraj's lips yeah but which are brown what is kraj is its name it's an animal K R A D G E is how they transliterate it. It's a Klingon animal, or yeah, is it yeah. Or? it's fictitious. Yeah, um, so it means brown because apparently cratches have brown lips, right? 
Um, uh, there... du du Duolingo, they also had another way of telling brown or yes. pink, yes. and I never could remember which combination is which color. Yes, we're, so, we'll, yeah. we'll get into it. We'll get into that other way in a second. Yeah. Um, and then you could also say dok bekpuj rur, which means orange. And another thing that you can do is you can forego the dok in both of these all together. And um, it's just, you know, it's understood to mean that. So khajwush rur, it's like, it's like a, a crab's lips. Oh, it's brown. Bekpuj rur, oh, it's, it's like, um, it's like bekpuj, it's orange, right? Bekpuj. Could it be naran? Could it be naran rur? Naran rur is a different thing. Um, so let me just. Uh, bekpuj is a type of mineral. It's orange, apparently. Um, so when you say bekpuj rur, then it's um, it's it's like bekpuj. So we're talking about the color. So it's orange. I'm assuming that naran may are orange. Not ran, when you say oh. rur, you're saying that it's sweet, is what you're saying. Oh. Yeah. So that's talking oranges about sweet rather than what? Oranges aren't sweet. Kada! Not ran rur. Only if you add sugar. And then you can, you know, you can talk about like bik rur, so it's like water. It might be blue, like a light blue. It might be chal rur. So or have no color. Or have no color. Because water itself has no color. That's true. That's true. But if you, uh, if you wanted to say blue, it would have then... to be, um, um, let me think. What's the word for ocean? Um, OK, yeah. So it would be blue like the ocean. Chal rur, and again, it helps to put the shud in front of these, right? Shud bichat rur, shud chal rur. So it's it's blue, it's shud, and it looks like the sky. Because it's shud, and it looks like the ocean. So it's blue, sky blue, etc. Because bichat rur could mean really, really big, like an ocean. Yeah. So if you say tin bichat rur, then you're talking, you're making a statement on the size of the thing. Yeah. Um, and then, and then, uh, oh, the thing that you were talking about is um, you making use of these two words here. So we have the word which means to be dark. Yeah. Careful again. This is another one of those. Um, uh, we'll call them false friends, where you think uh, you know, like this would mean something like darkness, but nope, uh, it means pickle. <laughs> Dark like a pickle. Hur, ru, hur. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Hur, 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 hur. Yeah. Uh, dark like a pickle. <laughs> um, and then we have this other word, wove, which means to be right. Uh, and so what you were talking about, uh, was um, goke, edge, wove, pink. Right, dok edge hur is brown, right? Because when red gets really dark, it and you mix it with black, it becomes brown, right? Um, and you, when you mix it with white, it becomes pink, right? So think about like go back to your <laughs> your art your 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 art classes and think about what colors you know when they're together, what do they make, right? So you know dok edge shud, right? That could be uh, purple, right? Um, so, I think uh, it, I think it was like dock edge, a uh, dock edge, it's like orange or something like that. I don't remember exactly the combinations. Um, that's well, that was counterintuitive and hard to remember. Yeah. Um, and then you have this thing, dock cool. So it's really dope. <laughs> it's really dope, man. So it's like really a dark red or like a, a vibrant red, right? Uh, so it's really, it's, it's red. And then shuku um, means like green, right? Um, and that just means like really shud, but when it's really shud, apparently Klingons take that to mean that it's green. So those, those are just things to keep in mind. Um, when I was doing Wizard of Oz, um, shoot, comes out comes up a lot. Um, 
and also shud edge wool, which means yellow, right? I think I just, for yellow brick road, I think I just called it Tao Shud. So the Shud road. <laughs> or um, uh, Shud Tao, right? The, the Shud brick road. So, so is it, there an emerald green? Well, you, for that, you could say Shud Patmorur. It's Shud and it's like a Patmore. It's like an emerald. So, okay. it's clone ruler, ruby red. So it's it's dope, and it's like a ruby. So on and so forth. Yeah. So it almost looks like cool and wove are pinpointing kind of where on the spectrum with these broader color words, and I want to make sure that I'm not over extrapolating. Mm -hmm. So if should who is green should edge wolf is yellow, would should edge herk, uh, be blue? So going in the opposite again? direction. So would should edge edge herk? I Here, let's, let's work on that for a second. <laughs> that Hurr. sound. Hurr. <laughs> really over enunciated. Don't be afraid of sounding silly. <laughs> God, I just okay. need to pair. Just the 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 G H going from the R to the G H is just killing me. Here, do just do the R for a second. Just break it down. Just the R is. Just, R. Yeah. R. There you go. Now do the R. Do the R. 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 It's like you're gurgling, right? <laughs> There you go. Now just do r r r r r r Yeah, you're getting there. So hoor. Hoor. Maj! Yeah. Hoop! Hoop, hoop, jai! Maj! Okay, now what's your question? Oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, should edge Hoor. Mm -hmm. uh, would that be equivalent to blue? Um, I don't believe so. No, I don't. Uh, it would be like dark blue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It would be like dark blue. Yeah. Let me, I'm going to share my screen again with y'all. Uh, give me a second. What I'm pulling up right now is the Klingon wiki and they have a really great page on color. So if ever you're wondering, like, is there a canonical way to say this? Is there a canonical way to say that? Then you know. So here, um, it's an article entitled Colors. Um, so here we have the four, right? Dok, Shud, Kej, and Shish. And then we have the whole color wheel, right? So Shud, Shud, Ej, Hur, as you were saying, a dark blue. Shud, Ku, Ej, Hur, so dark green to blue. Shud ku green, shud ku edge wove, pale green to yellow, shud edge wove, that's a yellow, shud edge wove, light blue, dok edge wove, red to orange, dok orange red, dok ku edge wove, pink. Um, I would also say just dok edge wove is fine for pink. Um, dok ku, um, you know, like a darker red, dok ku edge hur, dark red, dok edge hur, brown. Dok edge wolf bat. Again, it's just brown because hur and wolf bat, it's basically the same thing. Pidge is black. And then finally, gray. How do you get gray if you have like uh, paints? You know, black and white. Right. So it's pidge edge wolf, right? It's just the same thing. Um, pidge edge wolf, black. or um, so it is black and it is bright. Or um, you could also just say pidge edge shish. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it. And then you have these two examples: dok edge kash wush rur, dok bek puj rur. And then we have all of these other color words, right? Um, we got so we have this this word right here, rit, which comes to us through Klingon for the Galactic Traveler. 
Um, and it basically means paint or dye, but um, some people use it in the way that they might use color in English. Um, and then we also got this, this word last year, um, kalmush, which means like color in general. Um, it's not like a, it's not like a specific color, like red. It's like, oh, that has color. Like it's like. Um, TV. Let me, let me read the explanation about it. Um, yeah, so KGT is correct saying that there's no noun for color in the sense of what color is that? Or red is a nice color. The new word kalmush is used to distinguish the colorfulness of pictures, for instance. He pointed at a color photograph and said, that one has color. And then at the uh, other photograph and said, that one does not, a black and white photograph. So it's not intended to, to uh, highlight specific colors. Either you have kalmush or you don't. Right, exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah that is correct. Um, we also have another word, move. Right. Move. And move, so my ut vi, it means to be tinted or to have the color X. Um, no, it doesn't, it doesn't take an object. It just means to be tinted, to have a color. Um, and so the way to say, what color is it? Yes, crebo. So basically, move is uh, to have calmouche. Yeah, yeah, basically. Like, they're kind of, they're kind of like a verb noun pair, basically. Calmouche is the noun equivalent of move. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it there yeah um so the way to ask you know how what color is it um because there's no word there's no noun for color you say chite move chite move oh uh dope right how how is it tinted chite move how is it tinted dope it's red right and you don't need to use, use move in your response in fact i can't think of an example of where you would say um that um but you would say, you know, dok, shud, kej, chish, etc. Um, you could also, another great color word is chum. So C-H-U-M, that means to be colorful. So that has a lot of color. And then chum ha would be like uncolorful. It doesn't have a lot of color. So, there you go. Sound good? Cool. Oh. Roar. Roar. Hash. Koshlidge. Roar. What was it for? It was a question which meant. Chai was how and Roar was. Ara is how many. Roar was. When? Roar, roar, kash, 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 kash. When is your? Koshlidge. Kosh, kosh, kosh. Kosh, 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 kosh. Push the stative coot judge. Ah, push the stative coot judge. Push the stative coot judge. Crab o. Push the stative coot judge. War. Um, push the judge. Uh, jar. 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 What ma? Cha? Jar. Judge. What ma? Va. Tech bet. Ne. Jar. 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 What ma? Cha. Jar. Chat ma? Va. Oh, chat ma? Va. Vaj kish ma? Be boor pu. Kaja. Maj kha. Maj kha. Kish ma? Ah, chiyach, chiyach. Shoshwe at 
jar wat mach chat judge wat mach vav boch pu vaj kosh bobon rach shoch je. So I thought that you and my mom shared a birthday because you said 15th to begin with, which is her birthday. Yeah. What well, is bon share? I'm sorry? You said bon is bon like bon. share? Bone is to share, and I really actually, I use the, there are two words in Klingon for to share, and I think I used the wrong one. So bone is, bone is to share, like, um, if I were to, I don't know, I have a chocolate bar, and um, you're really hungry, and I decide I'm going to give the chocolate bar to you. So I, shukhvad, so to you, yuch vibon. So I share the chocolate bar, like, to you. So there's somebody who clearly has something, like is the possessor of that thing and shares it with another person. Lin is when there are two people who are sharing something and they're- Who have in common. Yeah, there's not really a clear possessor. It's just like they're sharing it. It's, yeah, like a sandwich. Would it be better just to use the Lin in, 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 in sharing the kosh then? Yes, exactly. So I used the wrong bone, uh, the wrong share. I should have said Lin instead of bone. Because that would be like, she has the birthday and now she's sharing it with you, right? You don't want to uh, use the wrong bone. <laughs> Robert. Kosh ma, kosh, willin ba, do ha, jijak ha. Kish mash, nuk och mudo tse. Nuk och mudo Bear Chorch Jav, what mach, what vach, what vach, chorch mach Jav, Rech, 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 yeah, Rech is always Rech, Rech, Chak, much, 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 um, Yotar. Roar kash koshlidge. Ah, koshlidge. Char. Char. What mach chak get? Judge chak mach get. It's bad toch. It's nuk och. Mudot Um, Vag mach kut ben. Does the ben come before or after the fifty nine? Uh, fifty nine years ago. After. Okay. So vag mach kut ben jibo jibo. Mo? No, just jibok. I'm not causing Bo myself. Yeah, and it's very common to put the poop on there because it's something jibok that... Jibok have... Yeah, it doesn't make sense in English, but mm -hmm. Klingons... Jibok poop. Okay. Yeah. It's Bar -mach Jar wat mach cha. Nuk och mudot e. Ped a ta. Wolf ku a jewel. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid you, I don't have the vocabulary. I just don't have the vocabulary, the mugo for this. Um, what do you, what do you, you can say it in English and then I'll help you through it. I don't know what you're asking. That's the okay. problem. I said, Koshlidge, nuk och mud do at. What's the, what's the weather like? What was, what's the weather like on your birthday? Uh, Beer. Beer. 
Shimyon ar rech. Yiloi. Guess. Yiloi. Loi is to guess. Yiloi. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm guessing. I heard ar, but I don't know the other words. Shimyon. Oh, Shimyon. Ar um, rech. Shimyon ar rech. Yiloi. Um. Shimyon rech. What what schmach what what schmach rech mat mat beer bed tad bet it shall chuch laut to do at the ear mat chiago roar hash coachledge Jar Jav uh, Jar Jav Judge Wat Mach Chur Kash Maj Maj Vaj Edge Koshledge Nuk Och Gudot App Brazilian, Brazilian duck. Birash eu. Birajil. Birajil. Birashil. Birash eu. 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 Birashi. Birash eu. Birash eu. Eu. Thank you. What ma? Hut, uh, 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 uh. what vac, hut mach, jav, eh, eh, vach, her. Mm -hmm. Et tu, bach tuj, kara, run. Ja, run. Mm -hmm. Et Deutschland dak? Ah, <laughs> uh, Deutschland dak, uh, cha vac. What ma? Mm -hmm. Not much, much. Too cool bed. Much, much. So, Caitlin, roar cash hoshlidge. Hoshwidge, jarcha, judge, wa ma cha, per dish. I think what I said was my birthday is February 12th. The year is a secret. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I heard, what I heard was my birthday. And then, um, and then February 12th. And then um, I heard uh, per, per dish instead of per dish. So pair is to label. So the year labels. Ah, so that would make less sense. Dish. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, well, um, the word kosh is very useful. So um, say, say when it happens. So put the timestamp first. Then kosh. So it happens. And then the subject. So jar cha. Jaj wat mach cha. Right? So February 12th, kosh koshwij. And great job on the on the date. That was great. Um, and uh, yeah, per dish kite bat. I'm kidding. Now, I'm kidding. Uh, I learned which recently. My... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, my rosh ben jibor. <laughs> yeah. okay. that, that one's actually that one's not a rai rai combo. It's just it's just a rai. Jib. Jibor, jibor pu. Jibor pu. Yeah. And then uh, right before Yotar, we get to your question. Um, Caitlin, Hoshlidge, nuk och mudot a, tuj a, par bir a, par ped, ped a, shish a, chek a, tud a. 
Rauma. Birku ej peg wavak shochmajav shimyon ga ga rech 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 yeah mat mat Oh, one moment. Hi, back. Toch, vaj, maj, kha. All right, he had a question, but uh, cool, wait. Um, cool, does anybody have any questions about that? Yeah, kha, bo. I have a question uh, regarding the, sim how do you say it in English, simil, simil, sim the way to talk about colors, which is like rur, with the, yeah, the yeah, talk about the, the similarity. Is there. it the fixed, like, contractions, or can I use any word, like, that, you know, do you have to say resembles, and there's a fixed nouns, or can I use any noun? There are a couple of, there are a couple of ones that are fixed, that, that that's what they mean, um, but feel free to come up with your own um, ones as well. Um, like yeah. blood or something. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I remember though that um, if you say yurur um, in Klingon, um, that means like pink because apparently Klingons have pink blood. Uh, so. <laughs> well, in Star Trek 6. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Star Trek 6. Uh, What's that? Human ew. Yeah, human ew. Why not? Yeah, sure. Um, mm -hmm. right. Now, I had always assumed that the year of my birth would be Watshad Hutvat um, Javmach, but I am told that Klingons label the year uh, just Wachut Javpa. Yeah, yeah. You can do you can do that first way. It's not. Uh, it's not. I don't, I don't think it's incorrect, um, but it's certainly not the standard way to say it. Standard way to say it is dish wat hu jav pa. Yep. That would be 1960. Yep. Cool. Who wants to talk about things that they enjoy doing? Jech, 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 jech. So who remembers what the word for to enjoy is? Tip. Tiv! Yeah, it's a great word. Tiv. Um, so the word, the word to remember, or the phrase to remember, oh, goodness. The phrase to remember for talking about what you enjoy doing is advitiv. Ooh, advitiv, right? So whatever, whatever it is that you do, blank advitiv, right? So, um, So I'm going to ask each of you, nuktativ, so what do you enjoy? Right. And you will respond back to me, you know, um, and you, you don't have to say the at, that's only if like you're saying, right, remember, jakal etvitiv, I enjoy swimming, I enjoy to swim. So literally what you're saying is, I swim that I enjoy it, right? Um, but you could also say, kokvitiv. Um, I enjoy music, right? Um, so remember, advitive with the optional at. Um, and then if you don't know what the word for it is in Klingon, go ahead and ask me, oh, um, I wanna say, I don't know, I like orchest orchestral music. Oh, how do I say that? Chai X Vijak Klingon Hol Rilotach. And you don't have to say that second part, but if you want to, you can say it. Um, and I'd say, oh, Ren rock, ren rock cook. Oh, match. Ren rock cook. So, Caitlin, look at Tiv Shoch. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, I said, "Gelard uh, et vitiv." Uh huh. Et vitiv. 
eh. I'm gonna make those those cow wit really strong. They're not very strong right now. You gotta okay. they're really really strong. Gelad evitive. Gelad evitive. 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 Mars. Yotar nuktativ. Pak me lad etyativ. So what I heard was pak me lad etyativ. Yes. So. That, oh, I have to have a um, gelad. Pak me gelad, or I wanted to say I like to read books. Right. So think about what's the, what's the prefix that you need on this one. Villad. Villad. Yeah. And then what's wrong with the prefix here? Uh, that's a command. Yeah. Enjoy me reading books. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Vitiv. Vitiv. Yeah, yeah. Pak me villad. Vitiv. Mat. Mat kha. Tiago. Nuktativ. Pion hol hoj vitiv. Oh. Same problem as yotar. There's a prefix, a mocha, that's awry here. Yeah. Virod. Virod. Yeah. 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 Klingan chol virod etmitiv. Maj. Chik chuch chu klingan chol daroj etmitiv mo. Maj kha. Kheb o. Nuktativ. Um, Kok much vijash etvitiv. Vijash? No. Vibad, uh, vikhoi. This would be, this would be great um, if jesh could be transitive. Oh, jesh okay. The vibad, vibad, adj, vikhoi. Oh, okay. So not participate in? You don't like to act in, in musicals? No. The, oh, musical. I meant the concerts. Oh, okay. That could also concert. be a concert. That could also be a concert. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you say attempts? To... Yeah, jijesh in that case. Yeah, but that could also be understood to mean musical. So, kashtach vish kok much. So during a concert slash, slash musical, a music presentation, um, I participate, that I enjoy. Kashtach vish kok much jijesh etvitiv. Cool, match. Oh, participating like watching, not like playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. You also say jishach. Present, to be present. Oh. Yeah. I like to be present during musical presentations. Much. Ejjech nukvitiv. Jilad etvitiv. Ej. Jikon etvitiv. Oh. Mach pubwij vikon epitiv. Mach pub is a novel. I like to write my novel. Um, Edge klingan hol vijat epitiv. Jeff. Mach. Whoa. Mach kha hoch. Dun ku. Does anybody have any questions from this week or anything that we covered recently? Um, we have a question in the comments. What is it? Would ret be a reasonable approximation to plain D and D? Um, no, that would really be kuj. Yeah, um, I've heard people translate um, like RPG as ret uh, wit kuj, so it's an actor game, um, and even as a ret wit rash kuj, so uh, an actor's table game. Um, which is pretty good. And then, but Kuj is going to be your play a game that has rules. And the difference between Kuj and Rech is Kuj is to play a game that has rules and Rech is just to play like free play. Um, there's no rules. There's no, there's no goal or anything. Um, it's just free play. Yeah. Yeah, Thank I suggested you. Kuj get Kuj uh, would could that be uh, a game of pretending? Robert. Where you're pretending? What's no, that? Robert, the problem no, with okay. this is that you've got um, 
got ret, which is not, I think what's happening here is you're using it as a stative verb. Um, okay, but it is. But it's, yeah, it's not it's a stative not verb, a it's a transitive, yeah. Right. It means to, to act as something. Cool. Any questions on weather words? I want to throw the challenge out there. Who has started a Klingon journal? Who's been journaling in Klingon? Maj. Yeah, Kayla yeah. has. And Keb O. She's done one. That's okay. One more. What? 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 So this week, I want to throw the challenge out there. I want to throw the cod is a challenge. Um, so try, try, you know, this is not like, it's not obligatory, but every day try to write down what the weather is like outside. And say, oh, um, what's the weather outside? Tuj, edge, wove jewel. So say like what it looks like. And then also talk about the hot, talk about the temperature. So, shimyon, you know, however many shimyon, rech, right? Um, and um, that'll be a good way also um, to get used to the shimyon system, as well as learning both the words shimyon and rech, which are pretty, pretty useful um, vocabulary words. Um, and then at the end of the day, uh, you do your journaling at the end of the day. Um, you can say, you know, write down, you know, dach judge. So I enjoyed walking today um, or something like that. Or if you do journaling in the morning, um, say yesterday, I enjoyed reading a book yesterday, you know, things like that. Um, those are, these are just ideas for stuff you can write pretty regularly because um, they're pretty simple. You know? um, and now y'all know how to, well, y'all knew how to uh... say it Yes. This is probably a good independent study question, but um, is the Shimyon system, how do I put this? Is it fairly linear or is there, um, when we're doing conversions, is there any like wonky formula being used? Like I'm just trying to figure out how easily one could convert in their head. There's, there's a formula. I think I, I think I, um, I think, at some point, I, I try to figure out how many, how much like, how many shimyons are in, you know, equal how many degrees Fahrenheit. I think it's like, um, like five degrees Fahrenheit or something like that, or um, five shimyons. Wait, what is it again? I'm trying to think here. Um, yeah, it's like five degrees Fahrenheit to one shimyon or something like that. Okay, I'm agreed. Thank you completely wrong on that. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. But it's, it's pretty linear in, the, in that there's like, it is formulaic. So there, you can, you can sit down and do the math and calculates and don't take, <laughs> don't listen to my ramblings. Um, but uh, yeah, because my, my solution is just to feel it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I have already done this and it's uh, pretty linear, but uh, the formula is, uh, is uh, very small numbers. So yeah. I don't think it makes much sense to use it. <laughs> yeah, um, I use it because it's fun, uh, and also yeah. when you, you know you're speaking Klingon, um, it's just, it's better. It's always better to do like whatever the Klingon thing is, right? So instead of using feet, say you know use uj. Um, oh, that's a good idea for what we'll talk about next time. Uj, uh, which is the measuring system. And instead of using, I don't know, kilometers, use kilikam. And that's pretty easy because um, a click com is basically two kilometers. So you just, you know. Wow. <laughs> um, but I, I, I mean, what I mean is I, it doesn't make much sense to make the, the change automatically. I think oh, you I can see. just I go there and take it. Yeah. You know? I thought you were saying it, it doesn't make much sense to use shimyons, in which case you're right, but <laughs> why not? <laughs> I have to hit my exactly. other meeting. Thank you. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, I'll send out homework to everybody. Um, I'll try to get on top of it. I didn't do a worksheet this last week. Sorry about that. Um, it's okay. Yeah. Unless anybody has any last questions. No. Okay. Cool. Well, good work, everybody. Pick. Thank you. Bye.